Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. Today's video, we are going to answer the question, is your job making you fat? So let's get started. So with one of the biggest cultural shifts in the last century, with so many jobs becoming computer-based, so many businesses and industries all becoming internet-based, we all are migrating to jobs where we are primarily sedentary, sitting at a desk, looking at a computer or on a laptop. And as a result of that, over 50% of people have gained weight since they first started their job. And I wanna pose the question and ask you guys and start a dialogue regarding whether or not your job is causing you to gain weight. And I wanna talk about the top nine most common things that make people gain weight when it comes to their work. So the first thing that causes people to gain weight when it comes to their job is work-related stress. Stress is a killer and the reason for this, it is not just in your head. Stress actually elevates your hormone levels of cortisol and cortisol can actually impact your body in so many ways. It can negatively impact your ability to process insulin. It can negatively impact your adrenals and it can become a nightmare. So the key here is you definitely want to do your best to minimize the impact of your work stress on your physical body. So the second reason your job could be making you fat is due to a lot of sedentary computer work. If you do not have the type of job where you are on your feet, where it causes your heart rate to actually be elevated, I do encourage you to get up and take five minute breaks, maybe once an hour, maybe get a standing desk, maybe just do a quick lap, move your legs, the stiffness and just lack of motion and of just sitting still for hours and hours can really just make it hard for you to get some just general activity points. And then it's actually gonna make your total daily energy expenditure even lower, causing you to have to eat less and less in order to be able to lose weight. So you really wanna watch um, how many steps you're taking in a day. And I recommend people actually set step goals for themselves to be mindful of their activity. So item number three as to why people have a tendency to gain weight with work is related to having a long commute. In this economy, a lot of people can't always work in the most convenient locations. And as a result of that, some people have to travel further and further away from the home, which is taking up a lot of time. So if you're traveling upwards of an hour, hour and a half one way, that's two to three hours a day just sitting. So if that's you, you may wanna consider getting a gym membership at your job. So maybe your job offers that or trying to find some other ways to conveniently build in activity throughout your day. The next item, item number four, why people tend to gain weight with their job is the pressure to eat socially. Fortunately, it is so common to see things like donuts, bagels, a lot of pizza, just convenient, cheap, unhealthy food just in the workplace very often. And it's there, it's free, it's just so readily available. And this is where you really wanna be mindful about making good choices or planning and packing your own meals because ultimately at the end of the day, you have to deal with the consequences of what you eat and you don't want to be caving into those social pressures to eat what everybody else is eating. Item number five as to why people tend to gain weight with their job is they travel a lot. When you're traveling, your, your schedule isn't necessarily fixed. You're between airports, cabs, Ubers, trains, rental cars, and it can be really tough to schedule timed meals. Under these circumstances, this is where you wanna travel with some high protein snacks. You want to have an idea of what types of things you should be ordering. You wanna be tracking your macros and you wanna be avoiding alcohol under these circumstances when you travel. Item number six, whether your job may be making you fat is you work long hours. Unfortunately, the way the economy is turning, I've been finding that a lot of people are having to do the jobs of entire departments with a single person. And as a result of that, it's causing people to have to work longer and longer hours. And by the end of the day, you are so exhausted that the idea of cooking a meal or getting to the gym is the last thing on your mind. If this is you, you need to get in front of it. You need to start meal planning and you can't let that continue to be an excuse because 
the end of the day, it is your health, it is your body that you are wrecking and you need to just take a stand and proactively do something about it because you cannot let your job run your body. You cannot let your job ruin your health. Item number seven is you get zero sunlight. And this is really unfortunate, especially for those who work night shifts, for those who work in an enclosed area with zero windows. If this is you, try to get outside for some walking breaks, try to get some sunshine, try to get near windows because that vitamin D is definitely going to impact your psyche in a big way. And believe it or not, actually in the winter, a lot of people gain weight just due to this fact alone. So you definitely want to be mindful of your exposure to sunlight and try to get more sunlight on a regular basis. So item number eight is you eat lunch daily and you order like lunch out with things like with DoorDash. And I know a lot of companies have cafeterias and a lot of people just like to get out of the office. I understand that, but you want to make healthy choices and you can save yourself so much money, you guys, if you pack your meals, prep your meals in advance and don't give into that temptation to just order out all of the time. So be mindful of that if item number eight, you order lunch daily. Last but not least, you are more likely to gain weight on your job if you work in a toxic environment, meaning, if you, live, if you work in a hostile environment where people are always blaming each other, it's very negative, you just have negative teammates, you may have a negative boss, you just may have a very overall negative vibe in your um, company, that toxic environment can really wear on you. So I encourage you guys to make sure you are prioritizing your health. Comment which of these nine things impacts you below and let's get this conversation started so we can talk about solutions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.